Okay, I got the rotor off the hub. I always got a kick out of this in the uh, the manuals. They're great, but one thing I find there's the rotor. You can see I had to cut a piece out of that with a uh, grinder. Be careful if you're doing that. Make sure you use safety glasses. There's a lot of a lot of uh, little metal pieces flying all over the place. But anyway, I had to beat on that with a sledgehammer and I took an air hammer to it right over there but uh, I always find it funny because the book will say uh, remove the rotor from the hub almost as if to le lead you to believe it's going to uh, just slip right off of there but anyway after a lot of pounding and everything else the uh, rotor is off there's the hub there's the spindle nut that's got to come off next Okay, so something else just to make this job more fun than it already was. Uh, what you got to do is put, I'm not exactly sure if that's the right size Torx wrench, but get you, it'll give you the idea. It's got to go through this hole and into the Torx bolt, which is over here. So to get this bearing, sealed bearing off, it's bearings in the hub here, we're going to have to get this socket with the Torx bolt through here, or uh, with the, that socket, it's going to go through that hole and into that bolt. So I'm going to have to jack the other side of this vehicle so that I can turn the hub and line that up. You can kind of see it easier on the new one. There's the new bearing, or a new hub rather, and if I turn that right there, you'll see that that hole. I got the uh, hub turned, and you can see where that torque bolt is down there. If I yeah, let's stay there, so you see what I'm getting at is you got to line up that hole here with where that bolt's going, down in there. Okay, I don't want to beat this to death, but this kind of threw me off, so again, there's the hub, other side of the vehicle is jacked, emergency brake is on, everything's safely supported, so that I could turn this hub and line up the Torx bolt with the torque socket with the bolt like that so that's the idea okay one other note uh, I loosened off the first uh, Torx bolt then I moved the one of those holes to the uh, where the next one was to line it up and my socket wouldn't go in all the way which threw me off because I thought it just went into the other one fine turns out one of these holes is bigger than the others. So I just lined up that hole, the biggest hole, and then my socket went through fine. Okay, so the three hub mounting bolts with the Torx head have been removed. There, over there, on this side. So this hub I'll have to give it a little persuasion. It should come off now. Okay, so again the manual is a little bit misleading on this one. It says wiggle this hub and that'll pop off of there. Well, I've been going at it with a pry bar between the hub and the steer knuckle here. And it's kind of hard to see, but I'm making a little progress easing it out here between the steer knuckle you see that groove between the hub there and the steering knuckle. Then I put the uh, I put the stud spindle nut back on and gave the uh, axle a little tap, not too hard, kind of a gently. And you'll see now that that the uh, that'll actually move back and forth. But be careful about that. You don't want to put too much pressure on the axle back here. So anyway, now that I've done that and I got the uh, that released from within the hub. You can hear that moving. I'll try to get this off again. Okay, as I mentioned before, 
the uh, manuals are great you know for thirty dollars whatever great reference for doing work but uh, like I said uh, they mentioned in the manual about giving it a wiggle and the hub's gonna come off well I've been fighting with it you can see now it's it's released so it's just a matter of prying it off there now see where my screwdriver can go down between the uh, the hub and the steering knuckle here but uh, what I ended up having to do little technique I gotta resort to every now and again uh, this is basically just a bar I got a couple of nuts tightened up to each other here that's just basically to put a head on the bar and I put one nut on this side and then tightened it through and it forced it against now you got to be careful where you set that against I had you make sure you put it against the steer knuckle if you got to resort to this uh, I might do a different video actually on using this little trick but anyway I just tightened up that and eventually it just puts enough force and and uh, force the uh, hub out of the knuckle okay so there we have the old bearing Still got my little tool attached to it. And our drive shaft protruding out of the steering knuckle here.